Okay, so this is the last slide of this chapter. We are now going to uh, solve the last two problems. Okay, uh, the first one, this 2010, is very simple. What is the story? We are just going to put numbers into an equation, okay? We have two wires, okay, so I have here two wires. Uh, both have the same length, okay, uh, length one, length two is two meters, okay. Uh, the distance between them, so the D between them, this D here, is three millimeters, okay, so three ten to minus three meters. They carry a current, both carry the same current, so I1 and I2 is eight amps, okay, and they want to know what is the force that one exerts on the other. They don't even tell us the direction of this um, current, because it doesn't matter if, if the force is attractive or repulsive, they don't care about that, they just want to know the magnitude, okay? So how do we get to this magnitude? Using that equation that we saw in the previous um, lecture, which is the constant, and uh, go back to the previous slides to get to the value of this constant, the two currents, I1 and I2, which in this case they are the same, so 8 multiplied by 8, the distance, we have the distance given to us and the length. Both have the same length, so it doesn't matter which one you choose, it's two meters, and that's it. And you're going to get this force. If everything is done correctly, it should be 8.5, 10 to minus 3 newtons, if you be careful with uh, the units, right? Now, the next problem, let me erase all this, the next problem is more interesting, the, the problem 2011. What is it? We have, and the drawing is helping us, okay? We have um, a wire that is carrying this current I1 to the right, okay? We have a second wire that is 20 centimeters below, so the distance between the wires is 20 centimeters. It's also carrying a current, I2, and if you look, this current is in the same direction at I1, but I do not know what is the value of this current. And the question, the problem is this, what is this I2, okay? Now, what else do they tell us? This wire I1, it's being held somewhere, there are some nails, okay, it's being held on a wall. This wire I2 is not being nailed to anything. This wire I2 is not going to fall because of the magnetic force, now because of this attractive force causing by wire I1, okay? So, remember that when we have two parallel wires, both carrying current in the same direction, what happens is they attract each other. So, this magnetic force here is attractive. Now, I2 is being attracted to I1. Ah, I1 is also being attracted to I2, but we are worried that we are interested in I2 in this story. Okay, as I said, my wire 1, I nailed it to the wall. My wire 2 is not nailed. Now, it's floating there in the air because of this magnetic field. This, because of this magnetic field that is going to uh, cancel, no? that is going to support this uh, gravitational force. Okay, so this is the, the problem and what they want to know, what is this uh, I2, okay? How do we do that? So what we have is that magnetic, the magnetic force on I2, you know, I2, the wire 2 is being attracted by wire 1, yeah, because both have current in the same direction, so this uh, attractive force is equal to the weight of the wire I2, and that's why the wire I2 does not fall. With this, we want to know what is the current I2. Okay, let's put the equation for this uh, magnetic force. Well, that constant, mi naught over 2 pi, then we have I1, which is given to us, is 80 amps, I2, which we do not know, that's what we are trying to obtain, divided by the distance between them, the distance is given, the distance is 20 centimeters, put it in meters, multiplied by the length, the length of I2, well, 
the wire to since they didn't give us. Well, but let's continue with this equation. On the right side, we have M and G. Let's read uh, what else they write in, the, in this problem. They say that this lower wire, the wire 2, has mass of 0.12 grams per meter. So they don't give us the whole mass of the wire, they give us the mass per meter. Okay, so I'm going to rewrite this equation. Look how I'm going to rewrite it. The constant, here we have I1, I2, which we are trying to obtain, uh, D, which we have, and I'm going to pass this L2 to the right side. Okay, so this L2 and G. Well, this is the value that is given to us, 0.12 grams per meter. But of course, be careful, put everything in the international system. And we now, are, we are set to get the I2. Okay, you have everywhere here, you have numbers. If you do it properly, you should get the value of I2, which is 15 amps. Okay, so double check and let me know. But again, I repeat, be careful with the units instead of writing in grams, write it in kilograms. Okay.